Uh, there's a woman obsessed with the Ninja Turtles, though. A woman? Yeah. 33% on Rotten Tomatoes. 33% good reviews. So uh, mm. 67% of the reviewers out there in America hated this movie. Did not like it. But Man. people uh, uh, went out in droves. Because, you know, we America is told what movie to see, basically. Yeah. You throw a few commercials on TV, and we're all just a bunch of lemmings, and we just kind of follow each other to the movie theater and go, oh, they're telling us to see this movie. Uh, let's go this weekend. And not a movie for the kids. I guess. Uh, not really, because this woman is obsessed with the Ninja Turtles, so she does all these things with her life to, uh, yeah. To, yeah, to keep this obsession going. Listen to this. This right here is my new pride and joy, Michelangelo from Turtle 3. So any scene where you see Michelangelo, like when he goes, wait. Really, I'm just a beautiful princess in disguise. Ah, oh, sword. sword. Break the spell. Give me a kiss. Then it's actually this head saying it. Because Michelle works at a factory for a minimum wage, she takes out bank loans to feed her Ninja Turtle obsession. This head cost me $2,000. The one thing I like now is that she has her own job, she's making her own money, and she can waste her own money on this stuff. <laughs> Pardon my <laughs> French. <laughs> What what did he say? I don't know. Pardon my French. She's obsessed with the Ninja Turtles to the point she takes out bank loans to get all the paraphernalia. Wait, wait, wait. When you say pardon my French... It should be something... Don't you have you... to curse? Yeah. And then you go, pardon my French? What did he say? Oh, God. That means we get... Uh... He, he said that she's um, she gets all these Ninja Turtles because she's a silly cant. <laughs> when Michelle orders a pizza, get a slice quick. Oh my God, what's going on here with this dumb machine? Stupid machine. Stupid machine. Let me try this again here. Yeah, she does something with the pizza. We'll get to that in a second, but first. Job, she's making her own money, and she can waste her own money on this stuff. <laughs> Pardon my <laughs> French. <laughs> wow. They're made for each other. So the, the word in question is stuff. If he would have said, you know, the, the S, S word, word, then part of my French. Have, yeah. Maybe. Okay. I don't care. I've reached the threshold of don't care. <laughs> well, here's Michelle. She's in debt now because of her obsession. Good for her. I paid $1,800 for Leonardo. Michelle's going high risk. She's willing to put herself into debt in order to say, I have the head of Leonardo. I have been downright told by several people, just drop the turtles and get a real life. Yet, I have a life. Please let a fire rip through that building. Wouldn't that be great? Just burns up her stupid <laughs> turtle heads. <laughs> I know. Or just burns her so she has to wear one so people don't laugh in public. <laughs> What's up, Dan? And, and these aren't just like collectible figurines that might be worth something. She's actually purchasing the masks, like movie-worn masks from the original uh, Turtles movies. That's where she's blowing all of her money. Really? And she's got to be either very ugly or very fat. I'm going fat. fat. Where's the bell? She's both? <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is something a fatty would do. Definitely. This is fatty and ugly. Fatty hobby. Fatty and ugly. Because <laughs> she likes people that are in disguises. She wishes she was yeah. in disguise. <laughs> Just in a turtle suit. Uh... What, let me ask you, what what could be more murder-inducing than a fat girl who loves the Ninja Turtles? Ugh. Oh, was that her husband? Uh, what was that guy that was? No, talking? that was that was her father. Because I guess before oh, she, before boy. she had a job to you know buy the stuff for herself, she was borrowing money from her parents to I feed she, her turtle habit. Is she silly me? I thought she actually had like a guy. Come on. No, I I know I'm being stupid. And you know now. the you know the parents had high hopes for her. Oh, probably. And instead, she's just one of these dummies that collect stupid stuff. Newborn, you're looking, going, oh, what's she going to do with herself? I think she's going to be an astronaut someday. Yeah. She's going to break or through and... a ballerina. Whatever she wants to do, we're going to support it. That's what we've got to do. Whatever it is. Everyone's taking the family photos, high hopes. <laughs> if she wants to be an, an engineer, we'll send her to the best schools. I think she's going to be a doctor. A, and a doctor. A good one. Medical school. Look, we bought her a little play doctor's kit, and she's playing with it. That's she, wonderful. She could be the first female president. Yes. Why not? 
That's what the hopes and <laughs> dreams of you dopes are. Fast forward, she's just a mess collecting turtle crap. You should see how <laughs> smart she is. Oh, she's so smart. I'm so sick of hearing your, your, the parents talk about how smart their kids are. Stop it. So what's it doing? What is it doing that is so smart, smarter than any other kid? And when, and then once it reaches an age, it, like like picking something up with its right hand and then putting it in its left hand. Look at what he did. That's great. Show me when he's about 15 if he, he, he can actually get from point A to point B without falling down drunk or something. And then that's an accomplishment. Well, her obsession goes further. She eats a diet that's kind of similar to the turtles. Oh, really? She lives on a strict Ninja Turtle diet. That means pizza every day, <laughs> covered with bizarre toppings. I call you, dude. One pepperoni with pickles. Okay, I am making us a BLT pizza. When Michelle orders a pizza, get a slice quick because it's going to be pizza goulash. So. <laughs> <laughs> is, is she retarded? Yeah, is she a little slow down? Is she is she retarded? I, I mean, that would make the clip, I guess. Well, I guess <laughs> less goofable, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But no, she's a she's a functioning human being. Oh, you know what does she put on top of her pizza? Tainted pet food. <laughs> <laughs> Where does she work? What kind of job does this oh, lady man. have? Well, they said she has a minimum wage yeah, job it, it in was a some, factory. Yeah, it was some very low, you know, low wage. Mm. Crap job. Do we know where she's from? Do we know her last name? Yeah, where is she from? It's, I, it's an old clip. I can try and do the research and, and uh, find it. Yeah, I think she, Look, be. she would be. All right. And, well, the turtles taught her important life lessons. Don't they, though? Uh. <laughs> when the turtles entered my life, they taught me to be self-aware. They taught me to never hide behind any wall of you who can't. you really are, <laughs> but to live your life as you Just to you go to want. China to hide behind <laughs> a wall. Follow your heart. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's <laughs> How ironic, though, that a fat girl that orders pizza with pickles on it thinks that she's being self-aware. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Way to take the bull by the horns. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore. Michelle also lays giant turtle-sized eggs after eating her dumb pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Goes slumbering uh, into the bathroom <laughs> to lay some turtle eggs. <laughs> Dig some holes on the beaches. <laughs> just goes in there. Uh, she sounds disgusting. Oh, she's horrid. <laughs> Is she fat enough if uh, if she fell on her back, she'd have a tough time getting up? Like, oh, that'd be like great. Yeah, like her hero. Probably. Probably, yeah. huh? Behind any wall of who you really are, but to live your life as you want to. Michelangelo goes, follow your heart, guys, follow your heart. And then he breaks into the song called Follow Your Heart. He can try anything to tear us apart, but there's one thing that's still clear. That there's, there's no, no way that he'll get inside, inside of our hearts. Heart. Just, Just remember that we're still here. here. The time has come to change it all, to wash away your fear. We only have to stick together. <laughs> to <go outside laughs> Did you see that jerk? Follow your heart. Do we have to give her a MacBook? <laughs> Follow your heart. Oh. Follow your heart. Oh. You follow your heart. It's a thing dripping with cholesterol. That song changed my life. Go chase it. Because they taught me to follow my heart. <laughs> she likes following the heart because it moves slow. She does. That, that song goes. changed her life. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, man. People have to love uh, people like that. You have no choice. You have to love the little mess. <sighs> yeah. Her poor father. Ugh. Oh. Hope he's got a son. Just a fat girl. He loves the turtles. Eats pizza. Yeah. He tries to mean something by singing their songs. Really. <laughs> Let's say hi to Staten Island, a place we don't know much about. It's out there. People live there, but we really don't know much about it. What's going on, Staten Island? How you doing? Yeah, I'm wondering if this girl's like a girl I once dated. She was a Star Wars fanatic. She had me bang her once with a Darth Vader outfit on. Get out of here. I swear to you, dude. I'm, I'm picturing this girl knowing her boyfriend. Put a Michelangelo suit on. Let's go to bed. Well, the problem is uh, she would have to get a guy first. 
Yeah. And I don't think that's True happening that. anytime soon. <laughs> Although, uh, you know, you, you walk down the streets, <laughs> you see... You see guys with just slobs. There's someone for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of easier for a, a, a big, fat, uh, introverted woman to get a little something. All she's really got to do is to hang out at a bar long enough, and she's getting some that night. I don't know about that. Talk about Ninja Tur Oh, there'll be some guy. There'll be some wreck. She'd, she should save the, the beer money and the time and just show up at the bar at like 3 a.m. Yeah. That's <laughs> all. When they're chasing everyone out and they're all drunk. But and the, uh, those guys are left in there just, like, hoping and saying, ah, oh, screw it, I'll do anything at this point. And here, here walks in Fatty. Just weaving down the road with some guy <laughs> at the wheel, talking Ninja Turtles with him, and he's just like, I don't care. All right. We got the video up, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. It looks like Dee Dee from XM oh, Kids. Oh, no. <laughs> It looks like it's a visual for the faithful listeners that have, that have oh. been with us for a while, but that looks like Dee Dee from XM. Oh, my God, it does. Oh, oh, look at the, the parents. parents. Look at the bunt on the father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the father's got a big William Frawley bunt. Oh, my and God. And I think he's got camel toe. He looks like a fat Rumsfeld. Yeah. Ugh. All right, well, let's say hi to James in Boston. James, uh -huh. now she's hey got guys. the mask on in the video. That's that's adorable. <laughs> uh, what's up, James? Hey, you guys went with fat and ugly. I'm going with the uh, functional retard. Yeah. Where <laughs> yeah. It wasn't really known until she hit, like, 13 or 14 when the family pictures, the goose feather and the hair got a little bigger each year and expectations dropped. <laughs> expectations <laughs> dropped. <laughs> Yeah, she was just uh, she was just a, a, a fun kid until she hit like thirteen, fourteen, and then they realized she's not really maturing. Yeah, she just wouldn't get out of the sandbox. <laughs> she was, I mean, she doesn't look that old, so she was probably you know playing with the turtles when you should play with the turtles when you're like five or six years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. And then uh, you know time kept marching on, and she didn't grow out of this dumb habit. Her of hers. friends went on to you know the prom and dating and having sex, and she's just playing with the Ninja Turtles. What age do you think it was you when like her parents? All right, go ahead, oh, you talk. Uh, no, no, go ahead, right away. Sorry, Jimmy's uh, talking, sir. No, Hold on. You, it's all your turn, sir. <laughs> all right. I wonder what age it was when her parents were like, all right, look, she's not going to cure cancer. Let's just put the Drano on the top shelf. When does that happen <laughs> when you realize? You just start leaving things around the house. <laughs> when, how, how, how long no, does it take no. to realize? All right, go ahead, sir. I told that you. I didn't mean to interrupt again. Go ahead. I apologize. What am I thinking about timing? They, they were actually <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Oh, um, <laughs> I want to know what age is it that your husband looks at you and says, you know, for nine months you were lugging around a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you start leaving poisons around the house? Uh, take all the childproof caps off of things. By in the you empty out the, the smallest pot. Ah, oh, you just well, say. It. Go ahead. You, uh, continue Jump because in. it's now the Opie Anthony, Jim Norton, and Jane from Boston Radio Show. Go James, ahead, James. Your timing with throwing stuff in is deplorable. We've been doing this together for twelve years. You've been doing it with us for thirty seconds, so you know just as much. Let's go. <laughs> go ahead, James. All right, I'm that guy. I apologize. <laughs> no, Get out. You're step on everybody guy. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy, Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Big footprints. We take plaster casts off of our lines. <laughs> Let's go to Bobby. Bobby. Yo. What up? What up? <clears throat> hey. Yeah. Bobby. You're on the yeah. air. Speak. What up? Hey, my daughter, she's obsessed with the Ninja Turtles as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, she's chubby, too, but, you know. She's three, so you can expect that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. She'll probably grow out of it. Yeah. I hope she does. But this girl, uh, she never grew out of it. Uh, she grew everywhere else, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to uh, Chris, it looks like, in Jersey. Chris, what's up? Yo, what's up, guys? Hey. hey you, know, you know how this chick said uh, that song changed her life? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you think her life was like before that song? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I mean 